Okay, so another command, okay, so is INC. INC means increment by one. So the syntax would be INC register. So something like INC AX. So what will happen to AX would be plus one. Okay, current value of AX plus one, that is the new value of AX. Okay, increment CH. Okay, if, if the value of CH is five, Increment CH would give 6. Okay? So that is INC. Next would be DEC or decrement by 1. If you have INC, the opposite is decrement or DEC. Okay? So the syntax would be decrement and then the register. So something like decrement AX or decrement CH. Okay? All right. So the next one would be the loop instruction loop until complete so basically the loop instruction controls the execution of a program segment in a specified number of times so the cx register should contain the count value before starting the loop and automatically decrements by one so it would be from a value down to zero okay so if cx register is not equal to zero it transfers to each operand address, which points to the start of the loop. Otherwise, it drops through the next instruction. So the syntax for loop command is loop, and then you've got the offset address. So you have to know the offset address or the exact location where you want to go back. Okay. So something like loop 0108. So 0108 is the offset address. All right. All right, so let's have some demonstration on the use of increment, okay, or INC, okay, and uh, loop instruction. Okay, so for instance, we are given this problem here, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to display letters A to Z, okay, on your screen on the same line using the loop instruction, okay? So, but then before that, you have to know the ASCII character, Okay, of the letters that we're going to use. So letter A here, uppercase A is 41, 41 hex. Okay, so we will be using 41 to Z to 5A. So of course, what we're going to do is we have to initialize it to 41. We need to increment it so that it would become 42 to display B, increment 43. Okay, to display C and so on. So that would be until 5A. So we kept on incrementing the initial value of 41 until we reach 5A, which is letter Z. Okay, so there are about 26 characters on that. So we have to specify, based on the definition of loop, we have to know the value of CX. Okay, and since we have 26, so let me use our calculator here. Go to decimal. 26 is equivalent to 1A in hexadecimal. So we are going to initialize CX to 001A. All right. So let's demonstrate that. Okay. So let me open my DOS box here. Better quit debug assemble 100 all right so we want to display letters a to z on the screen on the same line so that means we have to initialize cx all right so take note that loop instruction uses cx okay so move cx 0018 Okay, so take note based on our calculator. Okay, so 26, there are 26 characters in the alphabet. Okay, and that is equivalent to 001A. Okay, on our 001A for CX. Okay, next. So move H02. All right, move DL. 
So uppercase A from the ASCII table is 41. You've got 41 hex. So move DL 41. Okay, that is for uppercase A. Next is we need to call the interrupt service. We need to display 41, which is letter A on the screen. So interrupt 21. Okay, next increment DL. So take note that 41 is on DL. So incrementing it would yield to 42 and 42 is letter B. Okay, so you've got increment DL. Okay, so we kept on incrementing it. So that means if we are going to increment DL here, DL now is 42. So we want to display that DL. So we need to go back to interrupt 21 on offset 107. So something like loop. Okay. 0, 1, 0, 7. Okay. So that is the address of interrupt 21 there. Okay. All right. Next is let's exit to DOS interrupt 20. Okay, so this is our code here. Okay, as simple as this. All right. So if we are going to trace this, CX is initially set to 26 or 1A. Okay. And then you've got move AH02, move DL41. This will display letter A on the screen. Uppercase A. Interrupt 21. Okay. And then incrementing DL, okay, so that would become 42. Loop 107, so that would go back to 107 here. Interrupt 21, displaying B. Incrementing it, okay, 43, okay, so that would yield to C. So this will display A, B, C, D, E, F, G until Z, all right, until your 001A here becomes zero. Okay, so let's go. All right, so this will be the output here. A to Z. Okay, so if you want to trace that, you could do so. All right, so but then before that, let's save this. Okay, so again, to save, we need to calculate the size. Okay, so the last would be 0, 1, 0, F. 0, 1, 0, F. Okay, we've started with offset 100. Okay, so of course the size is 000F. Zero, zero, zero okay, RCX 000F. Zero, 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 Let's save this as, for instance, n letters.com. Okay, W. Just make sure you have started your DOS box as an administrator. Okay? So, that's it. Now, if you want to trace this, you could do so. Okay? So, something like R. Okay? So, initially move CX 001A. So, that would become 001A. Okay? Move AH02. Okay? AH02 there. Trace. Okay? Move DL41. This is letter A. DL41. Trace. You've got 41 there. Interrupt 21 will display it on the screen. Trace. See this? That's letter A. Alright. Incrementing DL. DL is currently 41, right? Incrementing it. Trace. That would become 42. Okay. Go back to 107. Okay, so we go back to this, interrupt 21. This is now 42, and that would display B. Okay, interrupt 21. You've got B there. Okay, again, incrementing DL. DL now is 42, incrementing it. Trace, that would become 43. Go back again to 107, which is interrupt 21. Okay, that would display C, right? So trace, you've got C there. 
All right. So let's quit. So that's it. Let's check that. DIR. The file name is letters. Let's see. Dot com. There you go. You've got letters.com there. Let me execute it. Letters.com. You've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G until Z. All right. It's easy, huh? Okay, so let's have another example here. So, for instance, you are asked to display 0 to 9 vertically on the screen. So, I have shown you here to display A to Z on the same line, okay, horizontally. What if you want to display it vertically? Okay, so you have to know some of the ASCII character if you want to display it vertically. Okay, something like, okay, so we need to use the line feed okay so which is um line feed is to go to the next line okay and then we have to consider the carriage return to go down okay so let's see again we'll be using line feed and then carriage return let's check that Again, we have to refer to our ASCII table. So we will be using 0 to 9 here. Okay, so that would be from 30 to 39. Okay, so let's do it. Debug. Assemble at 100. Of course, I'm going to start with my CX. So there are um, how many? 10. Okay, 0 to 9 is 10. Okay, so 10 in hexadecimal would be 000 A, right? Okay, so next would be move AH 02, move DL 30. Okay, what is 34? 30 is 0. Okay, move DL 0 and then display it, interrupt 21. Okay, so after displaying zero, I have to go to the next line. Okay, so um, line feed, so that would go downward and then back to the first position. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, since I'll be using DL, okay, to display or to use that for the line feed and the carriage return, so I have to temporarily move my DL to any other available register. So let me just move it to BL. Okay, so something like, okay, move BL, DL. Okay, so the current value of DL, which is 30, I'm going to temporarily move it to BL. Okay, it's because I'll be using DL for another character. All right, so next would be move DL. Okay. You have got 0A for line feed, 0A, okay, that means that would go to the first line, that's a uh, uh, line feed, and then from that line, you move downward, okay, so but then we need to display it first, so that would be move DL, 0A, and then interrupt 21, okay, so call for the interrupt service. All right, next, we already have moved on the first or in the initial position for the cursor. The next thing is we need to go downward, okay? And that is your carriage return, D. So move, okay, DL, zero D. All right, and then interrupt 21. Okay, so again, the use of the line feed is basically when you typed in or when you display the letter or a number on the screen, this cursor will move to the next position. So when you say line feed, that would go back to the first or the origin. Okay, and then 
when you make a carriage return, that's equivalent to enter. So that would move to the next line. Okay. So line feed is you are on the starting uh, position. And then carriage return, you move downward. So what will happen is we are expecting that 0 to 9 will be displayed. Okay. Downwards. Okay. And that is on the justified form. So they are aligned on the leftmost. All right. So interrupt 21 after the carriage return. So the next thing to do is we need to go back to 30. So we have to load it again to DL. So to do that, you've got move. All right. So DL, DL. Okay. So we need to move 30 back to DL. Okay. So that is take note 30, which is zero. Incrementing it, 31. So let us increment. Increment DL. All right. So that would give you one. Okay. So we want to display that new value of DL. So you need to go back to one. 107 okay or offset 107 so to do that that would be loop offset 0 107 all right so what will happen here is that would go back to offset 107 and that would display the next value okay like what we did on the alphabet next would be interrupt 20 all right so let's test this g okay so this is the output now all right so carriage return is to go downward line feed that means you need to start on the origin Okay, so let's save this activity here. Okay, so we need to compute the size again, H. So that would be 0, 11, B. 0, 11, B. We've started with 100. Okay, so the size is 1, B here. RCX, 0, 0, 1, B. Okay, say I'm going to save it as numbers dot com. Okay, W quit. Let's see if we have numbers. We have two files already, so dir dot com. I have letters and numbers there, so let me run numbers. Okay, numbers dot com. So that displays zero to nine vertically and letters okay displaying alphabet from a to z horizontally on the same line okay so that ends up my demonstration thank you so much for listening have a great day